In today's video, I'm going to give you the full picture. Everything you need to know about meme coins. I'm going to start with a little warning about meme coins because they are high risk and I want you to be safe in crypto. So I'll be helping you to choose meme coins safely. I'll give you five of the best meme coins on the Solana network. And in conclusion, I'll be talking about how meme coins have the potential to get you some early financial freedom. I've been in crypto for the last seven years and know that anything is possible with crypto. There has been serious action on the Solana network in 2024, and a big part of the action has been down to one of the biggest crypto narratives so far in the current bull run, meme coins. Like them or not, they seem to be here to stay. To demonstrate the use case for a meme coin, let's look at Pepe. As it states on the Pepe website, it is a meme coin with no intrinsic value or expectation of financial return. There is no formal team or roadmap the coin is completely useless and for entertainment purposes only. Whether or not this is a real website, I'm not sure, to be honest, but it does explain mean coins quite well. Just be careful as this is the riskiest way to invest in crypto and that's saying something. It's not all bad though and you're going to see both sides by the end of the video. I am high risk and I've got gambling in my blood, so I bought some mean coins to see if I can make some decent returns and I've allocated about 1% of my total portfolio to mean coins. Personally, I just think it's it's like buying a lottery ticket, but with a much better chance of getting a good win. And there is definitely an element of skill to picking meme coins. Please don't get upset with meme coins, as some investors do. Just look at what Andreas Brecken was saying in a recent Coin Telegraph article. Maybe the bigger question is why are people gambling so much? I think one way to look at this is it may be that people are gambling because they don't trust the system to give them a fair chance. And they're looking at the inflation and your money is becoming worthless all the time and your salary is not going up so it could be that it's just a symptom of a financial system that people don't trust i don't know about you but i have to agree so we've covered that meme coins have zero utility and they are very high risk now i want to briefly cover the main considerations you should be thinking about as an investor when choosing your meme coins before we go any further though I want you to know that this video doesn't contain any financial advice. I'm just trying to help you with my 20 plus years experience as an investor. If you enjoy the video, hit the like button and let me know what your best meme coin is for this year in the comments below. And then we can compare notes. We can help each other. Anyway, the main things to think about with meme coins, number one is risk tolerance. This is the main thing to think about. Like if you have a low risk tolerance, meme coins probably aren't for you. And this video probably isn't for you but if you have the stomach for a bit of risk and want some game changing returns mean coins might be for you it might put a thousand pound into a mean coin and get twenty thousand back after six months or so but it could go tits up and that thousand might go up in flames number two is research please with any crypto do your own research research the team behind the project the website how many x followers etc etc I got some woofy tokens early this year, and this meme coin has managed to get over 800,000 followers on X in a very short period of time. Number three is the community. I got in a safe moon back in 2021, and my 2000 went up to £68,000 in about four weeks. Safe moon went up in value by a huge amount because of its impressive community. By the way, I didn't cash any of my safe moon out, and it's now worth nothing. My biggest lesson in crypto after seven years is the importance of a well thought out cash out strategy. If you want to know more about deciding when to cash out, see below in the description for a video that has you fully covered. Number four is diversification. Don't put all your portfolio in the main coins. Allocate no more than 5% in the main coins and this is if you're very high risk. I'm high risk like I said and I've gone 1% of my overall portfolio in the main coins. Number five is narratives. Main coins are very sensitive to the market so use platforms to track inflows into major trends not only in meme coins, but also in airdrops. The reason I have Woofy tokens is because of an airdrop. I've heard about airdrops for the last few years and just wanted to see what all the fuss was about. I was thinking, what if I get $10,000 worth of tokens or even $20,000? I ended up with just over 200 million tokens at a value of around $80. So take it from me, you need to manage your expectations with airdrops. I'm sure there have been loads and loads of crypto investors who've made fortunes from airdrops, but unfortunately, I'm not one of them. You now have a good idea of how to choose meme coins. Now I'm going to give you my top five meme coins on the Solana network. Number one is Bonk. Bonk aims to create a decentralized community-based platform, and this meme token emulates dog-themed Ethereum meme coins like Dogecoin and Shiba Inu. 
Currently, there are over 690,000 users, and the project ecosystem has united 129 projects at the time of recording this video. Some of the key projects on the network include BonkBot, BonkSwap, and Bonk Rewards. The current market cap is $1.5 billion. And even though I believe that there is room for further gains, this one might have already made most of its gains in previous months. Number two is Peng, another well-known meme coin. This is a penguin meme coin that aims to enhance liquidity on the Solana blockchain. The token's growth is driven by loads of subscribers on X, as it reached well over 10,000 subscribers within a week of launch. This only has a market cap of 20 million and has much more room for growth and potential profit compared to Bonk. Maybe worth considering, depending on your risk tolerance. Number three is Smog. In honor of 2024 being the year of the dragon, this is a dragon-based meme coin that could be a massive gainer, as many might buy this meme coin simply for good luck. I like this for the good luck aspect, but also because of the name Smog. I'm from Middlesbrough in the northeast of England, and I'm very proud of my working class roots. Because of our history of heavy industry and far too much pollution, we are known as Smoggies. Hence the reason for me liking the name Smog. And for the name and the look side of things, I'm going to invest a small amount into this project. Pretty much like picking a name you fancy in the Grand National. Anyone who buys Smog can stake it and receive rewards simply by owning the tokens and keeping them locked up. The market cap is currently just over $43 million. So for me, it has plenty of potential for growth. Number four is Dogverse. This is a new dog based meme coin that stands out by being the first ever multi chain meme coin. Currently, the new Dogverse project is still at the pre sale stage at the time of this video. The token is set to run on Ethereum, BNB, Polygon, Avalanche, Base, and Solana. By running on six chains simultaneously, Dogverse will enable users to transfer funds quickly and easily between chains. In addition, it will let them stake their tokens and earn passive rewards. Its pre sale started on April the 8th and became a quick hit raising over 15 million in the first six weeks. I've seen a few fairly popular YouTube channels talking about this project, who believe that Dogverse has 100x potential, but really I would take this with a pinch of salt. Another main coin I feel is worth looking into. Number five is Woofy. Remember my little airdrop story from earlier? I don't really take main coins very seriously if I'm being honest. They're a bit of fun and for me, it's a little gamble within crypto. That being said, I do like Woofy and have high hopes of it doing well. It's managed to get over 800,000 followers on X in a very short period of time, like I said, but has the community box well and truly ticked off. Another small market cap of $65 million, so there's plenty of room for growth and potential profit. I like the website and like the heavy focus on gaming. So that's the main part of the video, done and dusted. I really hope you've learned all you need to know about meme coins and taken some valuable insights and info away with you. You could invest into these five main coins and come back to me in a few months and tell me all about how you made 10 extra turns or even 100 extra turns and I'm your favorite YouTuber. Or it could go the other way and you could lose your hard earned money. Please keep this in mind before you make any investment with any crypto, not just main coins, any crypto. You have to do the research and you have to accept that every single investment you make is your responsibility. This video is not me giving out any financial advice. It's just me trying to help you with my seven years of crypto experience. Now we've got that out of the way, I'm going to tell you how meme coins have the potential to get you some early financial freedom. In a recent crypto article, it is revealed that a trader bought 5.1 million dog with tokens for $749 in November 2023. And these tokens are now worth $10.9 million. I don't know about you, but this gets me excited. Yes, the odds of this happening are incredibly high. But like I said at the start, not as high as winning the lottery. In the same article, it is reported that a crypto investor made billions of dollars by investing in the Shiba Inu. These stories bring a smile to my face because I do feel with crypto that anything is possible, right? That's literally all I've got when it comes to meme coins. With everything I've got, I'm wishing you the best of luck with your crypto investing over the next year or two. And thanks for taking the time to watch this video.